so, folks. Strange goings on down there on uh, Rue de Plaine this weekend and uh, just behind me. Uh, something called uh, Echo d'un Flu, uh, an art show. Uh, guess it kind of means echo from a waterway, echo of a waterway, but uh, I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to put up a few of the things I, I saw and took pictures of and uh, you decide. It's, it's uh, very bizarre, very neat. And, I had quite a lot of fun and amazing just finding stuff surprising you in the uh, someone's apartment or in the middle of a park. That's really what it was. And uh, otherwise, it's very hard to explain. I'll just let you look. The first stop was outside my metro, Frontenac Station in Montreal. This was last Friday, June 10th, 2011. I was waiting for something momentous to happen, so I just let the uh, camera roll. Interesting the way bystanders relate to the event happening. I know, I should have shot the whole video around this lady. Groovy old man. I worried about the rubber strips breaking and snapping back. My friend says you can lose an eye that way. Later, when I had come back from buying groceries, here's where he was. I know. I was waiting for him to violently bungee himself around the inside of the bus shelter. Never happened. But stranger things were in store. First, the chimes that weren't exactly chimes. They're computer operated inside that box below. It's making a comment on how uh, bells in the city have been replaced by uh, 
The sounds, the computer-generated sounds of bells rather than the actual things themselves. I thought the people on the bench were part of the performance. The Banquet of Objects here are a gang of women involved in some very strange occupations. I'm a little sorry I didn't uh get closer to the action, but uh, I was shy. I didn't want to uh, intrude too much in, in what was going on. Just uh, watch and to see what would transpire. Actually, the empty chair is for, for we, the spectators, to sit down and, and join the performance. Uh, the distinction between performers and audience is, is eliminated, but uh, that never happened. We we're all very busy photographing and, and watching, and uh, occasion never came. Such is art sometimes. You never uh, control always what happens. You just have to let it uh, let it unroll and there it is. The performance is a little like a ritual, a kind of a uh, last supper, and uh, with all the ceremonial meanings and such. I'm interested in the idea that the photographers recording the performance didn't themselves want to be photographed, but the performers gave their all. And is that guy a spectator? I guess he's... Uh, 
braver than I was anyways. End of part one. Please watch part two for some amazing dance and performance inside an apartment and on the street as, as part of the uh, Echo d'un Flu event for uh, June 2010 in Montreal. Thank you.